Hey guys, okay, so this video is going to be just me basically venting out on a couple of things that have been bothering me lately. Um, I don't know, just like venting. I got some stuff on my mind. I need to get off my chest. <laughs> um, basically, um, okay, so you guys know I live in New York and, you know, we're supposed to have like all these great stores and, you know, we're supposed to have like a whole bunch of things, you know, that a lot of other people, you know, don't have around where they live. And I just want to know why I can never find anything that I'm looking for, especially makeup that I've just came out. Um, I've been looking for the Wet n Wild 8, uh, 8 palette with the 8 colors on it. I can't find that nowhere and it's supposed to be everywhere it's supposed to be part of their uh, um, collection permanently I can't find it I have a Rite Aid I have a Dwayne Reed I think there's a CVS around here somewhere I call them they don't have it and I'm upset because I want them and it sucks that I can't find them anywhere and it, the same thing happened when the holiday palette came out like they came out and they only had like two of them What am I gonna do with two out of like a whole collection which I think was like what four or five That bothers me and then on top of that Okay, so they just opened like this mall by my house and They have a Target they have a Costco they have a Mandy's stupid stores that I don't need uh, and you know for animal lovers you know they have a, a Petco and stuff like that and a Best Buy okay let me get to the point okay so my homegirl little nena third did a video about a haul that she did in Target and she told me that they were having a clearance and she was showing a whole bunch of um, items that she bought and I was like dang I gotta get up in there and get me some stuff all right, granted, I went to Target. I went to Target twice. Girl, why do they not have nothing on sale? They had nothing on sale. Mind you, the Target that's by me doesn't even sell Elf. It doesn't sell Elf. How do you not sell Elf and your Target? They don't even have a Wet n Wild line. Hello, no Wet n Wild line in Target. They got NYC and they don't sell Wet n Wild. Mind you. That when NYC, they have it cheaper in Dwayne Reed than they do in Target. In Target, I don't get that. I can get something for three dollars in Dwayne Reed from NYC, and it's like four seventy nine at Target. What is up with you people? Like, hello, I I ain't rich to be spending an extra dollar eighteen on something that I mean I'm not cheap either, but still, that bothers me. I really wanted to get a couple of like. Sonia Kashuk stuff. I wanted to get some makeup brushes that were on sale. I couldn't get nothing. Nada. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I couldn't find nothing. And I was really disappointed because I'm I'm always going to these stores looking for new things. And it, I was bummed. I was bummed. I, I don't know if you guys have the same problem where, you know, you're looking for something. I know my girl Rockin' Beauty 22 is looking for the the eight uh, color palette from Wet n Wild and she can't find them neither and I don't understand they need to make a Walmart up in here up in in that mall they just took out kids town and it's empty they have a vacant lot inside the mall um hello people from the East River Mall that makes the stores in there can you please put a Walmart in there pull for war like we need one in there so y'all can sell everything 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 I can't even find hard candy stuff like I just put on Facebook, for me to get hard candy stuff, I gotta take a Jolly Rancher and rub it on my lips. There you go, hard candy. I don't get it. It's not fair. I want I want the good makeup stuff too. But cheap, affordable. I can't be going to Sephora all the time, which I don't. Which I will go on Friday with my friend because she wants me to go shopping with her at Sephora. Hey, Erica, love you, Pookie. And, um, yeah, it just, that was bothering me. I wanted to let loose about that. Um, another thing that's bothering me is, um, I've seen a couple of people on YouTube, you know, making fun of other people on YouTube about how they do their makeup, 
and how they shouldn't be trying to teach other people on how to do makeup, which is totally understandable. I mean, everybody has their own opinion. But I saw, I saw, you know, this one girl. I'm not going to name her name. And she was really young, you know. And you can tell that she loves doing makeup. You can tell that she really loves, you know, playing with the colors and everything like that. And I just felt bad because they was leaving these really rude comments under her video. And they were saying, oh, you don't know how to do makeup right. And, you know, and, and a lot of these people that were leaving comments has have pictures on their, um, on their page. It's not like, you know, people that, you know, haters that they comment and they have no picture on their page and they don't post videos. I mean, these people actually post videos and they were making fun of this girl. And I felt so bad. And I was like, you know, I don't understand. Like, we're not none of us are perfect you know what i'm saying there there are some people that are makeup artists on youtube and they share their knowledge with us and you know i greatly appreciate that but then there's some of us that can't afford to go to school and want to learn you know all the good makeup tricks and everything i ain't perfect i'm not a makeup artist i don't say that i am i don't say that i know more than other people i'm learning with everybody else you know it's this is why I don't do a lot of makeup tutorials because I'm, I get scared, not scared, but I don't want people making fun of me. Like, okay, so what if, you know, your camera is out of focus? So what if your colors don't match? So what if you have fallout on your cheek? So what if the colors, you know, make your skin look washed out? It doesn't matter. Do you love make, doing makeup? Do you love doing youtube videos does it make you happy who are you doing it for are you doing it for yourself or are you doing it for somebody else so i say that to myself too like okay hello jasmine um why are you doing youtube videos i was gonna do youtube videos just you know to learn meet people and you know do makeup and talk about fashion and all this stuff and i kind of got freaked out when i started seeing that people were like commenting rude stuff like why am I letting them stop me, you know, and I should be taking my own advice. I just don't see the point of making fun of people that are not perfect and, you know, they're just learning like the rest of us, you know. It's it's not right, you know. We, we got to, like, you know, support each other, you know what I'm saying, as women, especially, you know, guys here too. The guys be doing makeup better than me. And I'm like, hey, like, teach me something and I'm subscribed. But, I mean, at the same time, it's like, you want to be, especially if the person's younger than you, you want to be um, supportive. You want to be like, you know what, you can do it. You know, keep practicing. Keep doing what you're doing. Not, oh no, why did she do a video? And why are you lying to her saying that she's doing a good job? What's the point of hurting somebody's feelings? I don't understand. Like, that's not cool at all. And I'm the type of person that I do not like negativity. I do not like drama. And as soon as I feel that, like, delete, delete, delete. I don't deal with you. I've done it with very close, close friends. It, I have no problem saying bye-bye to people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a mean person. I try to, you know, talk positive. I try to be positive with my friends, with my family, even with you know my subbies here on youtube and i mean i just think that the world would be a happier place if we were just all positive and not feeding all this negativity out especially to young girls i mean this girl was like what like 14 15 years old it wasn't right you know what i'm saying i mean that's just my opinion you guys can like be like oh my god you're so uh i'm like okay that's your opinion i'm not gonna get mad at you i had this one guy tell me oh my god i can't believe you you know, who the hell will go to a Pauly D video? I mean, uh, uh, go see Pauly D DJ. Oh my God, he's such, you know, a douche or whatever, whatever. And, you know, it was a rude comment. And I said, oh my God, I laughed my ass off. You know, that was funny. What am I going to do by feeding into the hate? Nothing. They're just going to keep on. You kill them with kindness and you get, you, you, you don't, you get kindness back, I guess. I mean, I mean, that's just me. I don't know. I just feel like. I don't see the point. I don't see the point of making fun of somebody because they not they're not a pro in doing makeup and stuff like that. Ay, what else is bothering me? Um, okay. If you guys don't know I have a Facebook channel. Um it's a Facebook channel, Facebook page, a subby page on my Facebook. It's La J Luna L A J L U N A. Look for me. Like me, point for please. I'm having a contest. It ends on Friday. 